I got copyrighted on my previous vlog for that TikTok video that I was showing you guys. Yes, they gave me a copyright. So I'm not about to do that again. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Ugh, my hair. I'm trying to make it look cute, but she's not. She's not. She's just not in the mood for cuteness. Good morning, guys. How are you doing? How are you doing? I got a little distracted, but good morning. You're welcome to another Vlogmas video. Period. We're already in the second um, phase. When I say the second phase, I mean like we're already in the double digits. Okay, so that's good. And if you didn't know, I'm only doing 25 days of Christmas. So I'm only going to be posting till 25th December. And then we're going to be good. Okay. <laughs> and then we're going to come back to regular programming. Um, but good morning. It is Wednesday today. Yeah, she's Wednesday. It's Wednesday today. I'm about to kill some killer. Wait, I'm about to kill some killer? Wait. I'm about to kill. I mean, literally, I'm about to do some killer apps. Killer apps workout ABS. And I'm so excited for it. I've literally been loving my workouts lately. I told you guys, I'm in a place where I wake up wanting to work out. So it always feels good. And music, music, music. <laughs> So um, I thought I'll pick up the camera and say good morning and um, intro you guys into the vlog. You guys know at home workouts is what we do. So I'm about to get into it. And yeah, please, if you're new, you're welcome. If you're a tennis subscriber, I'm a Kusia. Wait, if you're new, I'm a Kusia Benhini. If you're a tennis subscriber, girl, you already know me. You already know me. So if you're new, I'm a Kusia Benhini. I do vlogs, I do beauty videos, I do self-development videos. So if you're interested, please stay, subscribe, become a member of the family, okay? <laughs> and yeah, guys, let me do my workout because um, I kind of have a packed day, so yeah. I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. a smoothie i'm not gonna lie i want to make myself a smoothie um a protein smoothie because i don't want to drink my regular protein shake but also i don't want to use the blender because if i'm a fat it's still trying to go back to sleep and i don't want to wake it up completely like it is literally just six i don't want to do that so i don't know what to do but also i have to braid cornrows for myself i have to do cornrows for myself my hair looks so bad on camera but trust me i look good in person <laughs> trust me i look better in person i feel like i look way bad on camera but in person it looks way way better um i mean that's besides the point i have to do some cornrows for myself because i have to put them in protective style i've seen that winter is not good for my hair at all <laughs> This weather is so drying, okay, for my skin, my hair, literally everything, my lips, everything. So I don't leave my hair out at all. I haven't, I don't remember the last time I just like left my hair out. So I'm going to put them in cornrows, but I'm such a bad cornrow person. <laughs> I don't have, I don't know how to do cornrows. Amongst the thousand and one things that I can do, the thousand and one DIY that I pride myself with, I don't know how to do cornrows. I don't know how so um but i've recently started learning how to do it so i'm not perfect but i still get it to work under my wigs so i'll do that with you guys but right now i need to do my protein shake that's literally the first thing that i need to do so let me put this thing back okay <laughs> i'm just gonna put this thing back and then let's go to the kitchen and make some protein protein shake because i need that because apparently if you work out and you don't drink a protein shake then what are you doing i said i said this in my previous vlog i'm saying it again if you work out you need some form of protein eggs um dried nuts 
you know protein powder literally anything that you know that has about 20 grams of protein you should use that gonna be beautiful <laughs> Let it be beautiful. Everything you say right now is gonna be used in another fight. I've been through this so many times. Can we change the subject? You're gonna start asking me questions like Was she attractive? Was she an actress? Was she attractive? I'm turning 27 in June. I'm so crazy like I'm so happy and it's so crazy that's what I meant to say it sounds so crazy like I'm literally turning 27 it feels so surreal like 27 wow I'm growing <laughs> it's so crazy but yeah I'm giving it till June I need to get some supplements because I don't know I think this is going to be like an inside thing and I told you guys that if this thing doesn't solve itself like if I literally don't see anything happening to my edges I'm gonna go see a doctor so next year we're gonna go see a doctor if it doesn't change like I am definitely gonna have to go and see some hair doctor or something because this I don't know I really do not know you guys are here you see that I don't play with my hair care. I do everything that I have to do when it comes to my hair care. So I don't even know like what else. Like right now I'm eating well. I'm working out. I do not know. Like I really don't know what to do to my edges. I do, I do low manipulation styles. I barely do any updos of late. Like I'm doing all the healthy stuff. And my hair in itself feels good. That's the thing my hair in itself she's growing as you guys can see like she's growing and she actually feels a lot heavier than um like, like my last two washes like i said i don't want to say anything about a biotin i just want to give it some time you know i don't want to but my edges she just she just won't listen to nobody like literally no product <laughs> literally every product that can work on my actual hair it's not working on my edges and i don't know and I'm tired. I'm tired of the suggestions. You know, honestly, right now, I don't want to try anything new. <clears throat> Sorry. I don't want to try anything new. I'm just going to stick to the things that I'm using. I'm going to use them till they finish. Like, my leave-in conditioner is almost done. So, that's good. I've literally been using my leave-in conditioner since I was natural. And then transitioned. So, I love that. So, I think my hair has a good relationship with that now. So um, my conditioner, my shampoo, I'll keep using them till they're done. I'm not, I'm just hoping that I don't have to work with a brand that I have to use their hair products because, or maybe I, I don't have to because I'm caring for my hair right now. So <sighs> it's stressing me out, obviously. It does stress me out and that's just the reality of things. It stresses me out, but. I don't let it be like the focus of my life <laughs> you know what I mean like I don't sit around thinking about my edges it's not like a problem problem but like when I see it it reminds me and then another thing that I've come to realize is I also I, I had to read I was saying this and it's so like it resonated with me so much she was talking about self-love and self-love and self-love and she was talking about how there's really no self-love because sometimes there's something about you that you can never really love so all the people who are preaching self-love and self-love and self-love including me I used to do that I used to say self-love a lot there's really no self-love and I think I've come to understand that there's really no self-love there's acceptance you just have to accept the fact that I have this on my body I don't want it to be there I wish that it was different you know but she's here and I'm gonna accept it I'm just gonna live with it you know what I mean that's just what it is there's some things about us that we can't really fall in love with like my edges I cannot really love it like I don't have a love relationship with my edges right now but I don't care for it like I'm I don't I'm not bothered like it's not something that I find um, that disrupts me from doing things that I have to do I'm still very functional I still work I'm still able to be a mom you know so it doesn't stop me from doing anything so that's that's another thing I think she really had a point when she said self-love is overrated it really is overrated people you can love yourself I mean there is self-love 
but the way sometimes people translate self-love and um, love yourself regardless of what you look like bitch I please <laughs> I'm gonna accept that I don't have edges okay but I wish I did I wish I did I wish my hairline was full I wish I could do you know you know I wish I could just leave my hair on and make it look cute my my memory card is full let me just transfer the files and then let me do the cornrow but you guys get what I'm talking about right so I'm offering a sample phrase Although it's been said many times, many ways Merry Christmas to you It's not roasting Like frost nipping at your nose So I'm offering Okay guys <laughs> So If you know how to do proper corn rolls You're probably saying that I've tried and I think that I have you know, and I see this looks way better than every cornrow that I've ever done. Um, it's nice and flat thanks to my wax cream. This stuff will get your hair looking nice and flat. So if you want it to stay nice and flat, then you should try using the wax. And also, I think I still have cornrow fingers, okay? So um, it's not perfect, but it's functional. And that's exactly what I'm going for. I'm going for something that i can use to like do the things that i'm doing you know filming putting on my wigs i just need it to be functional and um also it's going to protect my hair you know so i'm going to keep this around for two weeks see i'm going to keep this around till the end of december because i cannot do this again i can't do this again and obviously the more my hair is getting a lot the more this will be a hassle so um so far so good okay literally so far so good insecure is is just a handful <laughs> but i love him i'm happy that i did that my camera is flashing from is up i'm gonna go shower do a shower routine you know do all the stuff that i have to do what we have to do today is cleaning out my closet so you guys should prep yourself okay prep yourselves we're about to do that if you have a long agenda on your day today please clear it up because we have to clean my closet <laughs> we literally have to clean my closet i'm not going into 2021 with a messed up closet that is not happening we're going into 2021 with everything fresh freshly fresh from the universe nature god freshly fresh <laughs> so i'm happy i'm happy i did the corn rolls okay that's literally what's making me happy right now but yeah i'm gonna go upstairs and i mean i'm gonna go do my morning routine and do the stuff that i have to do and get my life situated and then i'll see you guys in a little bit okay hey guys hey guys so it is um it's much later mommy maybe i i'm coming i'm coming she's hungry it's actually midday she's so sad it's midday um and i'm about to make her food <laughs> Don't let her cry make you, you know, worried or anything. She's just hungry. And I'm making her food. <laughs> oh, whoa, mommy. I have literally just been editing since the last time that you guys saw me. I mean, I took my shower, got ready for the day. And if you see me with my glasses on, Wait, my server is off, guy. Why do you always do this? Guys, I can't even stress myself with my camera right now because I'm making her food and I have to go and feed her. Awo, awo, ma. Mommy, maybe. If you hear me speak Fanti, that's because my husband is Fanti. So, um, we speak Fanti a lot. And I'm, I'm the type to easily pick up on something. Languages. Traditions. Like... <laughs> If I like it, I'm gonna do it. I gotta go. 
exactly what I wanted to show you guys. Um, I mean, someone wanted to say hi before, but she only allowed me to braid half of her hair. If you guys watched the doctor's appointment video, she took some shots, her six months shot, shots, <laughs> and she was feeling a little, you know, um, but she feels way better today. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. She wanted to say hi to you guys. So actually what happened is that day when we came back from the hospital, I decided to do her hair. So I, you know, nicely did like everything for her. And then um, later that evening, I decided to take off the ones in the front because I felt like because she wasn't feeling so well from the shots, she would need, you know, some, some air. She needs to breathe. I put myself in her shoes. I'm like, if I was in her shoes, what would I be, like, wanting at this time? I want freedom. I want to be free. So, I took up the ones in the front. So, that's what we're looking like. But, let me put her down. I thought, I, I mean, I thought she would say hi. But let me put her down so that we can make the shrimp. I really want to make some shrimp fries. Is that what it's called? Shrimp? Fried shrimps? Um, but it's like crunchy fried shrimp. I'll show you guys. It's a recipe that I want to share with you guys So we're about to do a cook with me session. So don't go nowhere. Okay <laughs> See, she, she has become needy We have days like this. Okay, we have days where she's just needy and just wants mommy and my camera is also really making me mad But let me set you guys up. I already told you what we're making. We're making some shrimp Okay okay guys so for what you need i decided to set up everything just so that it will be nice and fast so that i don't like waste time so i have my shrimp matter of fact with the shrimp you can decide to keep the skin on because we're about to fry it some people like to keep the skin on because it gives it a little extra crunch but i really don't like the skin with my shrimp if you've studied in my vlogs i always take off the skin so i've taken off the extra shell um, that comes with the shrimp and then you need one egg I mean one egg two eggs depending on how many shrimps you're using I'm using six so this is gonna be enough and then um, breadcrumbs what you can use in place of breadcrumbs is flour just regular flour and um, yeah so just regular flour and then also I'm gonna use my favorite complete badia seasoning and then I'm also gonna mix in some Cajun because just for you know that hit of pepper and yeah so let's go ahead and prep this so we're gonna go ahead and make the breadcrumb mix um, to do that I feel like my microphone is tilted downwards yeah. okay so I'm gonna take some of the breadcrumbs. You know, and I see this is Italian style and it has seasoning and everything. So it doesn't really, like it's not really bad. I don't know how to say it. It's not plain, right? That's what I'm trying to say. It's not plain, so you really don't need much. You can just use this breadcrumbs by itself. But because I want just a little extra seasoning, okay, I'm gonna use my baby. And then I'm going to go in with my Cajun. Bless you, Mama. I'm actually taking a lot of the Cajun because I want to I wanna get like the proper hit of pepper. And then we're going to go ahead and just mix. Ma. Literally had to bring her to the kitchen because she doesn't understand why she's not where i'm at <laughs> okay so now i'm gonna go ahead um now what you do is that you're gonna take your shrimp you're gonna dip in the egg let me take a plate you come over here dip into your breadcrumbs this stuff is so good <laughs> it's so good oh and then there so i'm gonna go ahead and just repeat the same process for every shrimp
it's done guys this is what it looks like let me show you proper way okay let me take my food and just show you ah ignore the mess in the background that's just oil residue i don't know why that's there but yeah <laughs> So this is what it looks like. Oh, doesn't that look good? Imagine. I already bit into one and it tastes so good. See? It's so nice and juicy on the inside and then it's crunchy on the outside. It's so good. Like it's literally so good. You can actually have it with suya pepe. Perfect. If you have it with suya pepe, the shrimp. A crunchy one like that with the pepe with some veggies on the side you can have this with everything salad i am about to have mine with some leftover fried rice i have leftover fried rice so you guys know that this household is like <laughs> call me my call me akusia benhini aka fried rice i mean technically not aka fried rice fried, aka the house of fried rice i don't even know what i'm saying but at this point you know that we make a lot of fried rice in this household because my husband loves it and i love it as well plus i've perfected my recipe if you guys want a proper video matter of fact i told you guys that i wanted to do the food channel next year i just might do it i just might do it because i'm showing you guys so many recipes which at this point if they had a separate channel living on it would be nice to me it would be nice to look back at because i think culinary is something that i actually want to take serious just cooking and you know just you know making food in a way that is just very pleasing to the soul it's just food to me is i'm see we have a whole different relationship okay i don't i love food when, I, when somebody says i like food, i don't even like food i love food i just can't eat as much <laughs> but i love food i love 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 food I'm just gonna go ahead and plate this. It's my fried rice. It's so small. <laughs> it's really, really small. But that's just because that's what's left. That's not because that's what I want to eat. Don't get it twisted. I wish it was more than that. Um, but the main focus is the shrimp anyway. I really just wanted to make this. But it's lunch time, and I figured I might as well just add this so that it fills me up. Um, so that I can just have dinner later, you know. So, this is what I'm having for lunch. Isn't this so good, guys? Doesn't it look so good? Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> A quick, quick taste test. Even though I already did that, I want you guys to do it too. You know, see how good it looks? It looks so good. Mmm. Huh. Guys, so I'm just gonna go ahead and enjoy my food and then I'll see you guys later. I know I said we're gonna clean out my closet. <laughs> I'm dreading myself for actually saying that because I don't know where the strength is. Um, but yeah, we'll probably still do it. If not today, tomorrow. Don't worry, okay? We'll do it, but I'm just gonna eat because I'm hungry. So I'll see you guys later. So hey guys, um, so it's much, much later. I mean, a few days later. I know I mentioned that I wanted to organize my closet with you guys, but not gonna lie, I haven't had time to do it. I'm not even going to lie, like I haven't had any time whatsoever to do that. Um, also because, you know, Vlogmas and <clears throat> I have to create content for some other brands and whatnot. So I'm gonna do it. My plan is that I want to do all of that in another video, like a declutter and um, organize with me. And also, I really will organize because I'm not going to go into New Year <laughs> with clutter. I told you guys earlier, I'm really not going to go into New Year with clutter. But because, I think because Christmas is just a few days away, I'm low-key overwhelmed. I have done my Christmas shots, okay? Like my Christmas photo shoot. It's not like photo shoot or anything. I just did it at home by the Christmas tree. Um, 
but that is out of their way i still have some videos that i have to work on um including this one i've been so late you know honesty for vlogmas i have missed a couple of days but that's okay i'm not putting pressure on myself i'm just putting out content for you guys so yeah my plan is that i just want to end this one here so that the next set of days you know honesty it's quite a number of days okay it's quite a number of days but also next year i'm trying so hard to re um, reduce um, my video time i think that they're just a little too long for you guys i'm just taking suggestions from people okay from people that um from like my friends and stuff like that and also personally what i have noticed or personally what i have studied that i think will work for the channel so right now i want to do more short form vlogs you know for you guys so like a day or two rather than just compiling my whole week in one vlog so um yeah i'm just like out here making plans for next year and figuring out how like i can best shoot you guys when it comes to content and everything and also considering the fact that i'm just starting out so i need to take it one step at a time okay so that's what i'm doing yeah i'm gonna go ahead and end today here i will go ahead and edit the rest of the days and put them in like other days also like i said we'll do the declutter and um organization with me so i'll do that in another video and then a few days is christmas and you guys also know that i'm doing only 25 days so um yeah that should be nice in a few days we should be done with vlogmas oh, i'm so happy it's been such a crazy like i feel like vlogtober was way better than vlogmas not gonna lie because vlogmas has been so overwhelming but um yeah it's all good i love the fact that you guys engage with the videos you guys love the vlogs next year should be great so yeah i'm gonna go away now thank you guys so much for watching comment down below if you liked the vlog give it a huge thumbs up if you did comment down below if you guys have any video ideas for next year especially when it comes to makeup hair diy stuff like that if you guys have any video ideas comment down below i watched a video let me just say this quickly before you leave i watched a video nello nello okay, okay she was talking about how people say comment down below and it's so true because down is literally down below so comment below we'll try to stop so comment below if you have any video ideas for 2022 comment below um and yeah I'm gonna go away now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram, Akusia Behene, across all social media platforms, here or here. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The time of the year now. You got people falling in love it Brings you good cheer now 